sins that they might be forgiven has fallen upon the children of dust. We all like sheep have gone our own way, we've gone astray. But long before there was the foundation of the earth, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father spoke to each other in eternity past, knowing that somebody would go down to earth just so that we as humans of dust would not be separated would not be separated from our Heavenly Father when the time came that we should go see Him. For just as it says in the Word that we are made in His likeness, we are made in His image, and we are the bearers of the image of God, the perfect image of God. And when the bearers of the perfect image of God have a tarnished vessel, the vessel is no longer fit to contain God. And that is what happened when you look at the account in Genesis. When God made everything, he called it good. And when he had created Eve, he called it very good and everything was dandy. God would walk with man and man with God. And then man decided to go against God. I didn't charge it. And then God decided out of his love and his grace that we as humans of dust should not be left as orphans, but that he should make a way that we should come back to him. And that way was through him coming on the cross, dying and resurrecting, being accepted of the Father, that we should partake in his divine nature. And this is something that is not easily understood for people understand it through earthly means. On the contrary, this is something you have to have a spiritual eye to even hear. It, it shall prick your heart if you are a seeker of truth. It shall actually, the word of God says it's sharper than a double-edged sword and it, and it splits through the, through the bone and marrow and even through soul. And I preach the word of God with power and authority that no man, no man can come to the Father except... This thing is going back like 15 minutes. No man can come to the Father except through Jesus. And no one can come to Jesus unless the Father draws him. And then those who go to Jesus, he shall wash in his blood and sanctify. That when you die and leave your fleshly body, you shall rise with the Lord just as he was risen himself. This is not a fairy tale. You can exclude the things in the Bible and just look at historical objective facts and you know that there was a man called Jesus that came here and he was prophesied to come here. He fulfilled pro prophecies very specific that no human being can do. Is it dead? It, it died, but it, it does it a couple times before. Why is it dead? No, we're on. What is it? What is it? For there is a knowledge that is only given to the Christians that walk with God. Notice that I said Christians that walk with God. There is nobody that decides to be Christian because you went to church and cried a lot. Or because you, you just went to a camp and then you made some best friends. Or all of a sudden your friend decided, changed or you heard a testimony or something and you decide to be Christian. Being a Christian doesn't have nothing to do with what you do, literally. It is the fact that God Almighty. Oh, yeah, this, this thing is dead now. It's this dead. thing is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's dang, I was even wondering if I charged it, and I think I did, but 